I'm Belfast-based football agent Keith Cruz here at the world famous youth football tournament, the Milk Cup, representing my company, Cruise Control, looking for a big star to the future. When you're in my game, it's all about making the big decisions. Cheesy chip, curry chip, cheesy chip, curry chip, cheesy chip, curry chip, chip. How's it going? Cheesy chip and a curry chip, please, love. You fuck up that lawnmower, shut up your hole. Sometimes you can just spot a player who's just going to be massive, you know, like Cristiano Ronaldo or Garth Fale or Ian Dye or one of the boys. But then sometimes, you know, you just have to be cruel to be kind to a wee 8-year-old when he has a mirror. You know, I'm not afraid to go up to a wee 8-year-old and say, listen mate, you're not going to make it. You're absolutely shit, you wee gimp. What are you doing? Sort your life out. And then debag him in front of his mates. I just give him a fret or something after it, make up for it. I actually played at the tournament myself in the mid-90s for County Antrim. Had a great tournament and uh, a couple of months later I had a big trial. I uh, got three months in jail. That wee girl was a liar though, we scumbag. Anyway, you never lose it. Straight down it's blurt. I remember actually meeting the young Ryan Giggs at the tournament many years ago and Giggs he stand there with loads of polo shirts, Man United ones and he was going to start dishing them out to all the people at the ground at the Milk Cup and I was like, Gigsy, take them home for the friends and family mate, they'll appreciate. You know, I was like, like a polo shirt for example, why don't you give your brother's girlfriend one? I uh, don't think he heard the first bit of it, but he certainly heard the second bit. Dirty wee hallion bastard. Fuck's sake. I remember a sweet lad from one of the teams from Argentina comes up to me and he goes, I was sitting talking to David Haley's dad, right, and he goes, Mr. Keith, Mr. Keith, I'm going to be one of the best players of all time when I'm older. And he was two foot nothing. and I was like <laughs> And uh, his dad was like, no seriously Mr. Cruz, we'd like you to sign our son Because we think he's going to be a football superstar I was like, tell you what mate, I'm away to sign up Billy Buckets here over at the Antrim under 14's game Don't even know what happened that wee lad He's a wee dreamer like, I don't know, Lionel Richie or something you call him, I don't know He's working at a club in Barcelona or something now mate, I don't know what the crack is Ah, oh, the organisers sort me out here, you know, give me a lot of free milk when I'm up at the tournament. There's no time driving back to Belfast more pints in the book than Jordy Best at a free bar in a Guinness factory, mate. I actually represent the player of the tournament from 1999, Big Dacky Danley. I says to him, Dacky son, I'll have you at a big club. And fast forward, you know, 15 years or whatever, and he's uh, collecting glasses up in Kelly's in Port Rush. That's a big club, my man, my word, you know. Some say Mill Cup's about talent hope and skill but uh, I say it is about those things but it's also about watching 14 year old lads kicking the fucking ballies out of each other as well do you know what I mean that's that's value for four quid that's it Joyce that's some hair but son that ref you shouldn't be sending them off right you should be giving a high five I actually got into a bit of trouble a few years ago when I was managing the Mexico under 14 team at the 2001 milk cup I uh, forgot to book the wee lads or flights over. So the Mexico under 14 team that year basically consisted of just a load of lads that my dad raises pigeons with up in Andy Town, covering about 10 litres of St. Tropez fake pan. We near got away with it, but one of big lads, Cricky, uh, he was supposed to be 13, after a semi final, uh, he offered the referee a lift home in his Vauxhall Cavalier with his wife and two kids in the back. I was fuming, like I said to Cricky, I was like, seeing the way home, you're not getting no sweets or tip tap or anything. And I was like, stop crying mate, you're 47. Oh, it's good to be back here, I had to serve a, a four year ban. I'm still pretty miffed at that, you know, don't know what happened. All of a sudden, after a game, I saw this wee player that I wanted to take onto the books of cruise control. So I started walking after him in the car park and he started running a bit, so I was chasing after him going, I, I really fancy you son, I'd like to see your tackle again, get in my car. And uh, next thing I was in the Mafati police station being questioned, but Thankfully a servant officer was Keith Gillespie's wife's cousin, so I got out. Hold on, here's a sweet lad from Venezuela I'm trying to sign. His dad's on the phone here, hold on. Alright, El mate. El mate. Alright, so basically I've been impressed with your kids, you know, I think he's, he's got the talent like, and to be honest, I'd, I'd really like to move you and the family all over to Belfast here, to give you the full cruise control experience. We see I made a attached up a white rock mate. White White Rock Road? White Rock Road? Oh I mate, I'll I'd be getting your family a perks to live in Belfast, do you know what I mean? Like I can get you discounted squash in Alley Town Leisure Centre. Listen mate, you'll not be putting your hand in your pocket 
I'd be getting you two for one cocktails in the Felons Club, mate. Is a civil warrior from us, or mate? Well, I'll tell you what, you'll love it here, won't you? <laughs> you love it, mate, you old chancer. How do you say chancer in Venezuela, mate? Uh, aye, mate, aye, as we say, aye, aye, aye. You're going on a wee bit, mate. I'll tell you what, I've got no credit, right? Aye, my minutes are gone, right? Aye, aye. Oh, I coached the wee team from Africa as well for a while there. Uh, didn't really go so well, if I'm honest with you. You know, the boys said they wanted the full milk cup experience. I said, Mr. Keith, we want the milk cup experience. And uh, I was forcing them to drink about 8 to 10 pints of milk a day. And, you know, 10 of the starting 11 ended up in Causeway Hospital, NE. It's my fault. Like, I, they were saying lactose intolerant. I thought that was African for more milk, please, mate. Why not join Northern Ireland's premier football agent, Cruise Control? Well, we're all about one thing, control. Them balls are made in China or something, mate. They don't have the same uh, pixels or something in them, do you know what I mean? Like, so it's not like the balls I was playing with when I was playing, like, or like, say a Chinese, mate, they're nuts, mate. Mm. We'll do something about them Chinese balls. Speaking of Chinese balls, where where are those chicken balls around here, mate? What's my advice to anybody coming up the milk cup with dreams of making it? Curry chip. Crossbar challenge. Straight down it, blurt. <laughs> 